Okay, so what we're going to be going over here is what the symptoms are of a dirty flame sensor and what we need to do to diagnose and correct that. So this is the uh, combustion box. This is a newer uh, high efficiency furnace and so it has what we call a sealed combustion box. Uh, I've already removed the screws from the bottom here and once we get that off it will look like pretty much like a traditional 80% uh, furnace. So even if you don't have a new high efficiency furnace, the burner assembly and setup are gonna be very similar to this. Uh, once you get this sealed panel off of here, it's gonna look a lot like uh, every other traditional furnace. So the first thing that we need to do is locate the flame sensor. Um, the flame sensor is gonna have one wire going to it, which is right over here. And the only other thing that you're typically gonna have in this area is an igniter, and it's gonna have two wires going to it. Uh, that's pretty much the best way to tell the difference uh, between the two. You don't wanna touch, uh, handle, or disturb the igniter uh, like you would the flame sensor, or you will mess it up. So it's usually a 5 16 or a quarter inch screw. Typically twist it until the rod is below the burners and then you slide it out. And there's the flame sensor and it is a little bit dirty. Um, definitely seen much worse but that is one that could stand to be cleaned. And to clean it you just want to hold it by the uh, the base of the rod and the ceramic and take a wire brush or steel wool uh, you could take rubbing alcohol do not take sandpaper uh, sandpaper will clean it up really good the first time and it'll read really high and then it will probably cause it to fail after that so you just give it a good brush what you don't want to do is separate the metal from the porcelain uh, if you see any kind of cracks or anything like that in the porcelain then that will cause it to not read right as well. And you can clean on them for quite a while. Uh, it's not going to look like brand new metal, but what you're wanting to get off there is the oxidation, uh, the gray, the black uh, kind of soot. This one was probably still reading okay, but it'll definitely be reading better. So that looks pretty good. We're going to disconnect it and then we're going to physically put it back into place. And we're going to cycle the furnace and it's going to do what it would do if the flame sensor were dirty. So you can see what the symptoms of a dirty flame sensor are. Okay, so the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to hear this little motor start. Um, any furnace within the last 15 or 20 years is going to have uh, a combustion motor on it. And you're going to hear that start. It's going to run for a period of seconds. You're going to see the igniter start to glow if everything is happening properly. Now we have the flames coming. 
and they went out because they did not sense any flame. So the code that most furnaces will be giving is going to be flame lost or ignition failure. And yeah, false flame sense is a common one. If you see that code and you see the, the same uh, sequence of operations or the same symptoms occurring, the flames light and then they immediately go out, then there's a pretty good chance that the flame sensor is dirty or it's not working. Um, the flame sensor is typically one of those parts that you can uh, clean and continue to clean and make them work. Um, it's typically not a part that you ever have to replace if you clean it properly uh, to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and plug this back in. Just one wire uh, on the end of it. And again, make sure you're differentiating from the igniter. The igniter is going to have two wires. Uh, the flame sensor is going to have one. It's going to look like a metal rod. Uh, versus the media on that igniter will look like a like a gray ceramic uh, material. So now it's trying to recycle. Uh, now that the flame sensor is hooked up, it will read the flame properly, and it should run like it's supposed to. Once the flames light and it is working properly, the main fan, which is behind all of this, should kick on and uh, you should be able to hear it run, you should be able to fear, feel the air coming out of the vents and at that point you should be in good shape. So that's how we diagnose, remove and clean uh, a flame sensor on a more modern furnace. Go back on as easy as they should, but with a little manipulation, you can make.